So tell us the story. John. So that's well. Here's the first story that I was. I just we've been sitting on for a while, but this is the uh, story that ran in Infoworld and a few other places, which and it's titled uh, "IBM Expert Warns of Short Lifespan for Burn CDs." Did you all get this? I got this from t- thirty different people in the email. It's like, what about this? He says two, two and a half years, two years to five years max. Boom for 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 burn CDs. Yeah, uh, is is that counting from uh, like a specific period, like? CDR is created back in like ninety nine or ninety. I have no. I, to be honest about, it, I have no idea what he's I talking about. I just installed about. an application I had on a CD that I've had for six years. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, I have. Yeah, he, are saying. you talking about using CDs for, arch- for archiving no, purposes? A, I think it's a terrible idea to archive stuff on. Well, well, what are you going to archive it on? A I think hard drive. A, well, I mean, zip I think it's pretty much been paper? proven that like a CD that's pressed lasts longer than a CD that's burned. Oh yeah, but, well that's a fact. It yeah, is no, a fact. that is a fact. But, but like, so what? If, well, if I have a bunch of stuff like family heirloom type stuff that what I want to keep, do? I'm not going to burn it on a CD. And I'm already, I'm already. What, what, here's what's really. Were you? I, I, just, kind of, wait, I, mean, this, I recently, what's bought, I recently actually bought a damn Flickr Micro account Beach. because I figured, you know what, I can okay, upload whatever. all of my stuff there. Yeah, well, yeah, and Flickr will be around in six years. <laughs> but you know what? I trust that right now more than I would stick in a CD in a safe. Oh no, I do. Brother, listen, this guy backed up by putting stuff on my hunt. This is Gorecki, the guy from IBM. He recommends that the uh, that people use magnetic tapes. <laughs> I mean, come on here. Oh, okay, I got well, a mag I, tape in the back. Right, let me, sure. Let's just do a little background on this. The, the first burnable CDs came out in 1988. I, coincidentally, managed to get a burner. He also came out in 1988. <laughs> I, I, I got a burner in 19... In the, I mean, there's a there's a joke there. I could have come back, and I, I'm thinking, what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> I'm drinking alkaline Because you're the better man. It's, it's, it's just not water. fair. You're drinking Pepsi. I'm drinking alkaline I'm water. You're Coke, not Pepsi. I'm, all right. So anyway, so in 1988, these things came out, and I actually had a couple of the early burners. Uh, uh, Olympus made one. They were all 1X. They were scuzzy. They are very inconvenient, hard to use, and you had to find software. It's amazing. I still have those discs. Yeah, they work. 1988. And they work, right? Yes. Me too. I have well, Go discs. home and check, John. No, I, in fact, you know, I, I, I can. Like that, I, yeah. Well, see, this is. Go home and check. Here's the deal. Things I just finished a column a couple of days ago because I got this new oh. Plex store drive, oh, a DVD lucky. reader it writer, worked. and because I have a couple of really old discs, I like to check them and to see if they work on the new drive because some of these new drives won't, indeed, will not read some of these discs because you know the waggle track is screwed up. There's a million reasons. <laughs> the waggle track <laughs> is a technical. Out, it's a little. It is. Yeah. It's a little track on the outside that the little head waggles around in, and it says, "Oh, okay, well, I should." Be it's kind of like one of those chihuahuas in the back of a car. So, anyway, so I ran it. I think we're talking about discs from my OS2 era and all these old, old discs. These things are over 10 years old, which is twice as old as this guy claims they're going to last. They all read fine. And in no those days, problem. They didn't know how to make good media. I mean, there were lots of issues with the early pr- right, CDR right. media. It, it wasn't sealed properly. Right. It was oxidizing. Cyanide so, poisoning. So you're saying this guy's full of it? Yeah, totally. That's He's what full I say, of it. Too. Are He's most of these of CDs using the same kind of filament that no, you they melt have, with no. a laser to yeah. no, 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 there's two, there's two or three kinds. Now, the early ones were... Say, ma- say phthalocyanine for me. Just Thal- it's thalo. Because <laughs> TDK has uh, these, like, the scratch-proof silent? CDs. Yeah, have yeah, you seen I those TDK <laughs> scratch-proof ones where you can... You can mm. I mean, you can scratch the crap out of them and they still go. And I, I don't, that's I'm, just redundancy. They've got a lot of redundancy. That's got nothing. a lot of What you don't want to do for archiving? Scratch them radially. If you scratch them along the groove... Me. The other one is you can't scratch on the label side. Yeah, that's yeah. where the data really yeah. is. It's well, no, no, that's where the reflected layer. that's reflective yeah. layer without no light. We it's did okay. we did a whole thing. Let, on him, it. let him talk. He, this guy knows everything. Uh, I'm not, I don't want so that. do you have <laughs> get the new guy in? So uh, so if you guys did you anybody study this or anything this this because I always was skeptical about cheap media. We're talking even cheap discs seem you, to hold you know, up. I, These guys are full of crap when they say two. Well, this years. is where we could actually become journalists and do the right. actual lab research. Nah. Pretty much oh, all the stuff it. I've burnt on were, were all those cheap ones you get at the computer show, like yeah. 100 on a spool, and they still work. They're fine. I've been Actually, I've only had it. one disc, and that was uh, a silver blue dye, silver back blue dye, and that just kind of leaked. Like the dye leaked out of it, and that was the only time I've actually had a disc go bad. In the early okay. days, there was a problem with bad sealing of the of the polycarbonate layers, and you'd get moisture in there that the reflective layer would oxidize. They in, people in Florida were saying, "Oh my God, there's you know rot." There's well, this CD used rot. to be you know you're That's talking old. about the stamped ones. I mean, the early stamped laser discs, which is where the mm-hmm. where laser rot came from, were nothing but they all. F- Flopped, I and these were like they work. There's a lot of them what? that don't. That really? The early, early, early. They there, there were actually two. Yeah, basically. I think there were two. Uh, See, that's why I drink alkaline water. 
And what, the resistance you know, oxidation. It heats Actually, it probably oxidizes more. Wasn't it, wasn't it Disney that wanted to do DVD rentals where you once you yes. open the seal, it oxidizes yeah. within 24 hours? But Lucky Eisner doesn't hours, work then, there anymore. You know, you right. can't worry about it. No, that was their <laughs> Fake solution. It was so, a good one. So, but okay. nevertheless, this scared a lot of people. This story, and, know, it, and it was circulated widely. Somebody's it's, in the mag tape business. Come on, <laughs> that's what gets me. He wants people to use mag. Why don't tape. we just go back to mo discs? Why don't we just go back like to this? Chad and use the paper tapes? <laughs> just have the thing grinding away, Clay, all day, with chopping nail away. Form. You know, you can't. You never <laughs> lose the data on a paper tape until the paper falls apart. You know, I think probably the real issue is how long you're going to have a CD player to play back this data. Oh, you know. absolutely. Yeah, the devices are going to uh, not live as long as the storage medium themselves. Well, you that have to keep taking your, you have to keep problem. your stuff in a pile. And then when you get to the next technology, you have to take and, and recopy it into the new you technology. Know, and you have to keep doing that till you die. But I think people do that. Like I've done that with a bunch of stuff just to clear out space, like copy them over to DVD-Rs because, you know, it's five CDs that don't have to stack you, on top of each other. Your kids are going to go up in the attic. They're going to open this box. They're going to say, wow. Porn. Grandpa, Grandpa Roger <laughs> had 30,000 silver had 30, discs. I'm porn. What do you do with I'm going to do what my dad did. When my dad like had a bunch of old 8-track tapes, he actually put it along with the 8-track player. So I'm just going to shrink wrap a PC with you know, oh, no. a CD drive, modern keyboard and mouse, and put it together as a package. It'll be a CRT. It's just like there. the little wax cylinders, you know, from uh, Edison. 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 He, you know, they include the little. You can still playbook. get those. Yeah. yeah. During that conversation, when you were talking about are the are the DVDs or CD burns going to last, I'm thinking global warming. I mean, we, we just <laughs> we lost a last? city. I mean, uh, <laughs> New Orleans. I mean, we're thinking about are the CDs going to last? Uh, just keep it high. high. So, yeah, keep so you're trying. High. You think we're just you think you're trivializing our concerns? I, 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 I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean That's to be dismissive. You're hurting my feelings. Uh, yeah, I was trying to put it into perspective. Your financial they, records on a CD. This is a big deal. The, the, the records of New Orleans could have been on a CD and they could have been destroyed by the hurricane. And 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 yeah, and that would have helped if they were all backed up there. But so you're saying until President Bush signs the Kyoto Accords, there's no point in putting my stuff on a CD. No, 